I'm actually an amazingly undiscovered sprinter and I'm just waiting till 2019 to really release those that power. The opportunities are great. And yet you do, you're, for, you're famous for your quite aggressive style of the crits. What is it you like about crit racing in particular to kill that? Uh, probably just making other people hate me, I think is important as a crit rider. You've got to, one of the things that I was taught by a very good crit rider in the US is um, Everything you do should either be an advantage for you or to disadvantage everybody else. And as I don't have a sprint, I don't have that luxury of, I guess, waiting for the last few hundred metres to really show myself. And at St Kilda during the year, I'm kind of using those crits as training anyway. So um, I pay my 15 bucks to get a really hard training session. And often, you know, a really good group of women show up. Even on a small day, there's still quality. There's just less depth at the moment than there is in the men. The first year we did Super Crit was uh, heinously hot. I think it was, you know, 43 degrees for the women's race. And um, it was incredible. I think there were probably around 50 or so starters um, with probably five to 10 women who could absolutely reliably win. So last year, again, a bigger field, um, more teamwork. Um, Jenny Mack came over from Adelaide because she'd moved there recently and she and I were away in a break for a few laps and she got all the damn preems and I got all the <laughs> lack of glory. Um, but that was terrific as well, you know, to have riders like Kimberly Wells and Chloe Hosking, Peter Mullins there, who, as you know, is a great mountain biker, but she's got a lot of speed on her. So um, I think this year will be even bigger. It's pretty cool. Anchor Point are offering equal prize money for the women's race. It's all goddamn who can get there. And I look, my money is on Suvelo team. They've got current crit champion Sarah Roy, Kimberly Wells, uh, Chloe Hosking's riding for them before she moves over to Wiggle Honda and Lauren Kitchens. That is a shitload of firepower in that team. So it's kind of their race to lose. Mullins, of course, will be aggressive. She'll probably be riding on her own. And of course, uh, my team, Total Rush, we've got a pretty fast sprinter from Queensland, Jess Toggle, and she'll, she'll be trying to stick it to some of those world-class sprinters. And we'll see how we go. I think the best part is it's on a circuit that's it's actually not that hard. It's not technical. Uh, there's no difficult corners. Well, it's just more about, uh, you know, how fast can we keep the race and um, who's going to miss the final opportunity, you know, so we've just got to be aggressive.